Welcome back everybody. In this video we're going to, ta we're going to tackle uh, Emerson's guide, Street Smarts GIS database. So let's get started. Each host contains a list of restaurants and their ratings from 1 to 5 stars, file 200, so let's have a look at that. It's the last stop and we can see a star blank 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 blank. Okay cool. Locate the entry that corresponds to the last stop on Eddy Street and change its star value to 5 stars. Okay. Name, uh, the name of the target restaurant and its location within the GIS grid are available in file 300. Okay, last stop Eddy. And that would be the coordinate, so 1 and negative 1. The first coordinate is the number of times to move east. Um, well, the second coordinate is the number of times to move north positive or south negative. So in this case, we'll be going south one. So east one, south one. Uh, if we read through this next network exploration geographic information systems guide, it basically shows us that this uh, compass here indicates uh, north is uh, link 800, uh, e east is 801, south is 802, and west is 803. So basically, for this example, for last stop Eddie, we're going to uh, we're going to go east 1, so I think it's, I'm not sure if it's 1 from here or not, it is, so last stop Eddie should be, last stop Eddie should be here, yep, cool, so yeah, east 1, and then south 1, gets us last stop Eddie, so we can see it's got a 1 star review, and it wants us to change its one star review to a five star review. Cool. Okay. Actually seems like quite a simple one. Um, to start with, we are going to need, probably need two exos because we're going to need one to handle passing us the geographic location and one to handle uh, the movement. So in XB, we're going to <coughs> you know, create grab 300. Uh, we got. So maybe we should pass the coordinates first. So we'll do a seek one, which is going to take us to the first coordinate. I'm going to copy the first coordinate to M, and we're going to copy the second coordinate to M. And then finally, we're going to need the actual name of Last Stop Eddie's for when we're referencing it up at the grid because we're going to need it in our register in order to do a seek on it or do a search on it. So we're going to seek backwards three and we're going to copy uh, the file to M again and we're going to hold because that should be all the logic we need for XB. It's going to be quite simple. XA is going to be doing all the sort of hard lifting. Okay, so let's get started by um, copying the first coordinate into our memory and then we're going to link into uh, 800 to drop us onto the grid. Hmm. So, to start with, let's handle east. So we'll go mark east. Um, mark east, and we'll go probably need a mark uh, north, mark south, and it's probably all the marks we'll need. We'll do mark east first. So we're going to test to see if x is equal to zero, because if x is equal to zero, well, we don't really need to move. We can stand still. So uh, if x is equal to zero, then we will jump to north. No, because then we're going to also need to handle um, whether or not it's a uh, positive or a negative number. So this is jumping ahead a little bit, but uh, if x is equal to 0, we're going to jump to the next function. Um, else we are going to link forward 1, because we're going to go east 1. Uh, and then we're going to subtract 1 from the x value. Uh, and then loop back around in the east block. So basically we can only escape the east block where we get a x value of 0. Okay, let's handle next now. Um, so let's copy in the value from m to x, and then let's test to see if x is greater than 0. And if x is greater than 0, then we're going to do a jump to north. Uh, 
then we'll do a test of x is less than 0. <coughs> and if that's true, we'll jump, do a jump to south. Okay, so let's do um, our logic for north first. So we'll test to see if x is equal. This is going to be pretty much a copy of what we had for east. We'll do a x is equal, test to see if x is equal to 0. Ooh. And if that's true, we're going to need another branch. We'll just call it find entry. Um, else, just link to the next north value. Uh, subtract x, subtract 1 and then loop back around in the north function again. So we'll need that mark for find entry. This is just going to handle the lookup. So south is actually going to be really similar to north. It's going to be almost identical. Do a test x is equal to 0. Um, if x is equal to 0, then we'll do find entry. Um, else, just link uh, to the next south value. Uh, we have to do an add because we uh, have a negative x value here. And then we'll jump back up to the south block. So that should be all the navigation, the code we need. So this should navigate us to the right square. We can kind of test to make sure this works. Uh, looks like it's all good. Yep. Cool. X is equal to zero, so this should jump us down into the find entry block. Perfect. Flawless. So let's handle find entry. Uh, we'll grab the file, which is 200. We'll copy m to x again, so we're basically copying in that last stop eddy uh, sort of phrase into our register that was handled by this line of code here. And then we'll mark another loop because we need to scroll through all the entries in these files and find the one we're relevant because we can see there's two reviews here, we only need the second review. So we actually aren't too sure how many reviews could be in each of these files, I'm pretty sure it's it's not always going to be two, it could be one, so let's uh, handle that in our loop. We'll do test f is equal to x. Um, if that's true, uh, we'll jump to another function called append, else we'll seek forward one, two, three, four, five, because we need to be on the next line. So one, two, three, four, five. So we'll seek forward five. Um, and we'll jump back to our loop if we have not found it yet. And then we'll mark append. And this is just going to be, what is this going to do? We are going to be, so first we have to take a copy of this asterisk into our register and then apply that asterisk to the remaining slots, giving it a 5 star. So we'll do a copy of the file to x. I think, yes, yep. Um, then we'll do a... We'll have to repeat this four times, so we'll just do another repeat. And we'll repeat copy x to f four times. So this should copy the star four times into the remaining slots. Um, and I think it's pretty safe to assume we ha always have a one star review. Or if we don't have, we never have any zero star reviews. I think it's, I, th I hope. <laughs> Else it might be problematic, but uh, let's give this a shot. Oh, cool. Seems like it is fine. Let's speed this up. Perfecto. Cool. I will see you in the next one.